aircraft landing gear systems it has 82 questions and right now I'm gonna have my assistant read for me this way so I don't have to read if you guys want to read you guys can read try to answer the question before I do aircraft landing gear systems 82 questions enlist 17 items tap to activate so at any point if you guys feel that I'm going too fast you guys can always pause if you guys feel that I'm going too slow you guys can always fast forward and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and every other subject that you guys are in. That's why so this video and this channel can get more um, views and more uh, likes. Okay. Let's start. Question 1 of 82. What type of valve is used in the brake actuating line to isolate the emergency brake system from the normal power brake control valve system? Not selected, an orifice check valve. Selected. Not selected, a shuttle valve, radio button. Selected. EXPL. A shuttle valve is used in a brake system to isolate the emergency brake system from the normal power brake control valve system. Reference. AMTSTRUC Chapter 6. Okay. Next. Question 2 of 82. What action should be taken whenever maintenance is performed that will affect the landing gear system performance? Not selected. The aircraft should be placed in jacks and a retraction test should be performed. Rate selected. EXPL. Any maintenance done to an aircraft landing gear that could affect its ability to retract and extend should be followed by a retraction test with the aircraft on jacks. Okay. Next. Question 3 of 82. The braking action of a Cleveland disc brake is accomplished by compressing a rotating brake disc between two opposite brake linings. How is equal pressure on both sides of the rotating disc assured? Not selected, by allowing the caliper to float to automatically equalize as pressure is applied to the rotor. Selected. EXPL. The disc in Cleveland single disc brakes is rigidly attached to the wheel and rotates between linings that are riveted to the back plate and the pressure plate in the caliper. The caliper is free to float laterally on two anchor bolts that ride in holes in the torque plate. When the brakes are applied, the caliper moves out on the anchor bolts to provide equal pressure on both sides of the rotating disc. Okay. Next. Question 4 of 82. Internal leakage in a brake master cylinder unit can cause. Not selected, fading brakes, radio button. Not selected, the pedal to slowly creep down while pedal pressure is applied. Selected, EXPL. Internal leakage in the master cylinder of an aircraft brake system will cause the pedal to slowly creep down while pedal pressure is applied. Okay. Next. Question 5 of 82. To prevent a very rapid extension of an oleo shock strut after initial compression resulting from landing impact. Not selected, the metering pin gradually reduces the size of the orifice as the shock strut extends. Not selected, various types of valves or orifices are used which restrict the reverse fluid flow. Re selected, EXPL. Various types of valves and orifices are used inside an oleo strut to prevent a rapid extension of the strut after the initial landing impact has been absorbed. Okay. Next. Question 6 of 82. When an air oil type of landing gear shock strut is used, the initial shock of landing is cushioned by. Not selected, the fluid being forced through a metered opening. Radi selected. The initial landing impact is cushioned in an air oil shock strut by the fluid being forced from one chamber to another through a metered opening. Okay. Next. Question 7 of 82. 
On an air valve core stem, what indicates high pressure type? Not selected, an embossed letter, A. Selected, EXPL. The raised, or embossed, H on the stem of an air valve core denotes that this is a high pressure valve core used in an air oil shock strut or in an accumulator, rather than in a tire or a tube. Reference, AMTSTRUC Chapter 6. Okay, okay. Next. Question 8 of 82. The purpose of a relief valve in a brake system is to Not selected, prevent the tire from skidding. Radio button. Tap to toggle. Selected. Not selected, reduce pressure for brake application. Selected. Not selected, compensate for thermal expansion. Selected. EXPL. Some brake systems use a thermal relief valve to relieve pressure buildup by thermal expansion of the fluid. Okay. Next. Question 9 of 82. A flexible hydraulic hose identified as mil H8788 will have a stripe running the length of the hose. This stripe is not selected, installed without excessive twisting, Re selected, EXPL. The stripe that runs the length of a hydraulic hose is called a twist stripe, or ley line. The purpose of a twist stripe is to allow a technician to be sure that the hose is not twisted when it is being installed. The stripe should be straight down the hose, not spiraled around it. Okay. Next. Question 10 of 82. Many brake types can be adapted to operate mechanically or hydraulically. Which type is not adaptable to mechanical operation? Not selected, expander tube type. Selected. EXPL. Expander tube brakes cannot be adapted for mechanical operation. They depend upon fluid inside the tube for their application. Okay. Next. Question 11 of 82. If an airplane equipped with master cylinders and single disc brakes has excessive brake pedal travel, but the brakes are hard and effective, the probable causes. Not selected, worn brake linings. Selected. EXPL. Badly worn brake linings can cause excessive brake pedal travel, but the brakes will be hard and effective once the pressure is built up. Okay. Next. Question 12 of 82. Refer to figure 10. The trunnion nut on an aircraft landing gear requires a torque of 320 inch pounds. To reach the nut, a 2 inch straight adapter must be used on an 18 inch torque wrench. How many foot-pounds will be indicated on the torque wrench when the required torque of the nut is reached? View figures. View figures. Not selected, 24. Selected. EXPL. To solve this problem, use the formula. TW equals TA XL L plus a 320 X 18, 18 plus 2 equals 288 inch pounds. 288 inch pounds is divided by 12 to get 24 foot pounds. Okay. Next. Question 13 of 82. The purpose of an orifice check valve is to Not selected, restrict flow in one direction and allow free flow in the other. Radio button. Selected. EXP. An orifice check valve is a component in a hydraulic system that allows a free flow of fluid in one direction, but restricts its flow in the opposite direction. Okay. Next. Question 14 of 82. The correct inflation pressure for an aircraft tire can be obtained from Not selected, tire manufacturer spec Selected. Not selected, the aircraft service manual. Selected. EXPL. The aircraft service manual gives the proper inflation pressure for an aircraft tire. 
the pressure recommended by the aircraft manufacturer is to be used, rather than the pressure specified by the tire manufacturer. Okay. Next. Question 15 of 82. The pressure source for power brakes is not selected, the main hydraulic system. Selected. EXPL. The pressure source for aircraft power brakes is the main hydraulic system. Refer. Okay. Next. Question 16 of 82. A hydraulic system referred to as a power pack system will not selected, have all hydraulic power components located in one unit. Selected. EXPL. A hydraulic power pack is a small, self-contained hydraulic system that includes the reservoir, pump, selector valves, and relief valves all in one easy-to-service unit. Okay. Next. Button. Pause. Question 17 of 82. An automatic damping action occurs at the steering damper if for any reason the flow of high-pressure fluid is removed from the Not selected, inlet of the steering damper Selected EXPL, button A steering damper is a hydraulically operated device that accomplishes the functions of steering and eliminating shimmying the steering damper automatically reverts to damping when, for any reason, the flow of high-pressure fluid is removed from its inlet. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 18 of 82. In shock struts, chevron seals are used to Not selected, prevent oil from escaping. Selected. EXPL. The chevron seals installed in an oleo shock strut prevent oil from escaping from the strut. Okay. Next. Question 19 of 82. Aircraft brakes requiring a large volume of fluid to operate the brakes generally. Not selected. Use power brake control valves. Selected. EXPL. Aircraft brakes that require a large volume of fluid normally use power brake control valves and fluid supplied by the aircraft's main hydraulic system. Okay. Next. Question 20 of 82. Excessive wear in the shoulder area of an aircraft tire is an indication of Not selected, underinflation. Selected. EXP. Underinflation will cause the shoulders of a tire to wear more than the center of the tread. Reference. AMTSTRUC Chapter 6. Okay. Next. Question 21 of 82. A close inspection of a fusible plug reveals the core has experienced some deformation. What is the appropriate maintenance procedure? Not selected, replace all the fusible plugs. Selected. EXPL. Fusible plugs or thermal plugs must be inspected visually. These threaded plugs have a core that melts at a lower temperature than the outer part of the plug. This is to release air from the tire should the temperature rise to a dangerous level. A close inspection should reveal whether any core has experienced deformation that might be due to high temperature. If detected, all thermal plugs in the wheel should be replaced with new plugs. Reference. Okay. Next. Question 22 of 82. An O-ring intended for use in a hydraulic system using mil H5606 mineral-based fluid will be marked with Not selected, a blue stripe or dot. Selected. EXPL. O-rings intended for use with mil H5606 hydraulic fluid are identified by a blue stripe or a blue dot. Okay. Next. Question 23 of 82. What would be the effect if the piston return spring broke in a brake master cylinder? Not selected, the brakes would drag. Selected. EXPL. 
If the piston return spring in a brake master cylinder were to break, the brakes would not release properly and they would drag. Okay. Next. Question 24 of 82. The hydraulic packing seals used in a landing gear shock strut are Not selected, used only with a specific type of fluid. Radio button. Selected. EXP. The seals used in a landing gear shock strut are made of a material that is compatible only with the type of fluid that is used in the strut. When replacing the seals, use only the seal having the correct part number and a current cure date. Okay. Next. Question 25 of 82. What condition would most likely cause excessive fluctuation of the pressure gauge when the hydraulic pump is operating? Not selected, inadequate supply of fluid, radio button. Selected, EXP. The condition most likely to cause excessive fluctuation of the pressure gauge, when the pump is operating, is an inadequate supply of fluid. When the pump alternately picks up fluid and then air, the pressure gauge fluctuates. Reference. AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Next. Question 26 of 82. The booster cylinders are used in brake systems primarily to not selected, reduce brake pressure and maintain static pressure. Radio button. Tap to toggle. Not selected, reduce the pressure to the brake and increase the volume of fluid flow. Selected. EXPL. The booster cylinders are used in brake systems to reduce the pressure applied to the brake and to increase the volume of fluid flowing into the brake. Brake to boosters are used only with brakes that have power brake control valves and get their fluid from the main aircraft hydraulic power system. Reference. AMTSTRUC Chapter 6. Okay. Next. Bob. Question 27 of 82. When will a continuous horn provide a warning in the cockpit? Not selected, when the throttle is retarded and gear is not down and locked. Radio button. Selected. EXPL. A landing gear warning system will cause a warning horn in the cockpit to sound when the throttle is pulled back, as it would be for landing if the landing gears are not all down and locked. Reference, AMTSTRUC Chapter 6. Okay. Next. Question 28 of 82. What is the purpose of the torque links attached to the cylinder and piston of a landing gear oleo strut? Not selected. Maintain correct wheel alignment. Radio selected expl the torque links that attach the piston to the cylinder of a landing gear oleo strut maintain the correct wheel alignment reference okay next question 29 of 82 what device in a hydraulic system with a constant delivery pump allows circulation of the fluid when no demands are on the system not selected pressure regulator selected exp a hydraulic system pressure regulator is also called an unloading valve. When the system pressure is high enough, the pressure regulator traps the fluid in the system, where it is held by the air pressure in the accumulator. With the system pressure trapped, the pressure regulator directs the output of the pressure pump back into the reservoir. The fluid circulates with very little load on the pump. As soon as fluid is demanded by the system, the pressure regulator directs the pump output back into the system. Reference AMTSTRUC Chapter 5. Okay. Next. Bob. Question 30 of 82. What is the function of a cam incorporated in a nose gear shock strut? Not selected. Straightens the nose wheel. Selected. EXP. Many retractable landing gears use a centering cam to center the nose wheel when all the weight is off of the shock strut. The centering cam ensures that the wheel is positioned so it will fit into the wheel well properly when it is retracted. Okay. Next. Question 31 of 82. What is the purpose of a compensating port or valve in a brake master cylinder of an independent brake system?
not selected, permits the fluid to flow toward or away from the reservoir as temperature changes. Re selected. EX a compensating port in a brake master cylinder is a passageway open between the reservoir and the master cylinder when the brake is completely released. Fluid can flow from the reservoir into the master cylinder and from the master cylinder back into the reservoir as it expands or contracts because of temperature changes. Okay. Next. Question 32 of 82. The left brake is dragging excessively on an airplane on which no recent brake service work has been performed. The most probable causes. Not selected, excessively worn brake linings, radio button. Tap to toggle. Selected. Not selected, foreign particles stuck in the master cylinder compensating port. Selected. EXP. The compensating port in a brake master cylinder must be open to vent the fluid in the brake line to the reservoir. If the port is plugged with a piece of foreign matter, the brake cannot release when pressure is removed from the pedal. The brake will drag. Reference. AMTST. Okay. Next. Question 33 of 82. A pilot reports that the brake pedals have excessive travel. A probable cause is... Not selected, lack of fluid in the brake system. Selected, EXP. If there is a lack of fluid in the brake system, the pedals will have to be depressed more than normal to get enough fluid into the wheel cylinders to apply the brakes. Reference. Okay. Next. Overinfl Question 34 of 82. Overinflated aircraft tires may cause damage to the... Not selected, wheel flange. Select EXPL. Okay. Overinflated tires may cause damage to the wheel flange on a hard landing. Okay. Next. Question 35 of 82. On all aircraft equipped with retractable landing gear, some means must be provided to. Pause. But. Not selected, extend the landing gear if the normal operating mechanism fails. Selected. EXPL. All aircraft equipped with retractable landing gear must incorporate some means by which the gear may be extended if the normal operating mechanism fails. Reference, AC43.131B. Okay. Next. Question 36 of 82. An electric motor used to raise and lower a landing gear would most likely be a Not selected, split field series wound motor Selected, EXPL Aircraft landing gear that are retracted and lowered with an electric motor use a series wound motor because of its high starting torque and a split field motor to both raise and lower the gear Okay Next Question 37 of 82 why do most aircraft tire manufacturers recommend that the tubes in newly installed tires be first inflated, fully deflated, and then reinflated to the correct pressure? Not selected, to allow the tube to position itself correctly inside the tire. Radio button. Selected. Yeah. When a tube type tire is mounted, the tube should be fully inflated, deflated, and then reinflated. This procedure allows the tube to position itself inside the tire and to relieve all the stresses in the tube. Refer. Okay. Next. Question 38 of 82. On most aircraft, the oil level of an air and oil shock strut is checked by. Not selected. Removing the oil filler plug and inserting a gauge. Radio button. Tap to top. Select. Not selected, measuring the length of the strut extension with a certain air pressure in the strut. Selected. Not selected, releasing the air and seeing that the oil is to the level of the filler plug. Re select. EX. The oil level in an oleo shock strut is checked by releasing the air from the strut and filling the strut with oil to the level of the filler plug. Okay. Next. Question 39 of 82. What should be checked when a shock strut bottoms during a landing? Not selected, fluid level. 
Select EXPL. If a shock strut bottoms during landing, the fluid is probably low. Transfer of the fluid from one chamber to another cushions the impact of landing, whereas the air pressure cushions the shocks produced when the aircraft is taxiing. Okay. Next. Question 40 of 82. If a shock strut bottoms after it has been properly serviced, the not selected, strut should be disassembled and the metering pin orifice plate replaced. Radio button. Selected. Not selected, air pressure should be increased. Radio button. Selected. Not selected, strut should be removed, disassembled, and inspected. Ra select. EXPL. If a shock strut bottoms after it has been properly serviced with both oil and air, it should be removed from the aircraft, disassembled, and inspected to find the problem. Okay. Next. Question 41 of 82. Lockout to boosters are primarily pressure reducing valves that Not selected, cannot allow full to booster piston travel without fluid from the high pressure side entering the low pressure chamber. Radio button. Tap to toggle. Selected. Not selected, allow full to booster piston travel without fluid from the high pressure side entering the low pressure chamber. Selected. EXPL. A lockout to booster is different from an ordinary to booster as it also serves as a hydraulic fuse. It will lock out the system after a given amount of fluid passes through it. In an ordinary debooster, when fluid is lost, the piston moves to the bottom of its stroke, and the riser unseats the ball check valve, and fluid from the power control valve passes through the piston shaft to replace the lost fluid. In a lockout debooster, when fluid is lost, the piston moves to the bottom of its stroke, and the riser unseats the ball check valve, but the spring-loaded lockout valve prevents fluid entering the lower chamber until the reset handle is lifted. Reference AMTSTRUC Chapter 6 Okay Next Question 42 of 82 A special bolt in a landing gear attachment requires a torque value of 440 inch-pounds. How many foot-pounds are required? Not selected, 36.6 Selected, EXPL Inch-pounds can be converted into foot-pounds by dividing by 12. 440 inch-pounds is 36.6 foot-pounds. Okay. Next. Question 43 of 82. The booster valves are used in brake systems primarily to Not selected. Reduce the pressure and release the brakes rapidly. Selected. EXP. A debooster valve reduces the pressure applied to the brake by the power brake control valve. When the brake pedal is released, pressure is removed from the inlet port. Then, the piston return spring moves the piston rapidly back to the top of the debooster. The rapid movement of the piston causes a suction in the line to the brake assembly that results in a fast release of the brakes. Okay. Next. Question 44 of 82. If an aircraft shock strut air oil type bottoms upon initial landing contact, but functions correctly during taxi, the most probable cause is Not selected, low fluid, re selected, EXPL If an aircraft shock absorber bottoms out on initial landing contact but functions properly during taxiing, the fluid supply is probably low but the air charge is proper. Okay. Next. Question 45 of 82. The repair for an out-of-tolerance toe in condition of main landing gear wheels determined not to be the result of bent or twisted components consists of Not selected, placing shims or spacers behind the bearing of the out-of-tolerance wheel or wheels. Selected. Not selected, inserting, removing, or changing the location of washers or spacers at the center pivotal point of the scissor torque links. Selected. EXPL. Toe-in on an aircraft equipped with an oleo landing gear may be adjusted by inserting, removing, or changing washers or spacers at the center pivot point of the scissors torque links. Okay. Next. Question 46 of 82. Power boost brake systems are used on aircraft that have Not selected. High landing speeds. 
radio bu- select EXPL. As a general rule, power boost brake systems are used on aircraft that are too heavy or land too fast to employ independent brake systems, but are too light in weight to require a power brake system. Okay. Next. Question 47 of 82. A filter incorporating specially treated cellulose paper is identified as a not selected, micronic filter. Select EXP. A micronic filter used in a hydraulic system has an element made of specially treated cellulose paper, formed in vertical convolutions, or pleats. The micronic element prevents the passage of solids greater than 10 microns, 0.000394 inch in size. Okay. Next. Question 48 of 82. A pilot reports the right brake on an aircraft is spongy when the brake pedal is depressed in a normal manner. The probable causes. Not selected. Air in the brake hydraulic system. Select EXPL. Brakes that have a spongy feel when the pedal is depressed have air in the brake system. Hydraulic fluid is non-compressible and gives the brakes a solid feel, but if there is any air in the system, it will compress and cause the brakes to feel spongy. Okay. Next. Question 49 of 82. How is it determined in a master cylinder brake system that all of the air has been purged from the system? Not selected, by depressing the brake and noting that the brake is firm and not spongy. Radio button. Selected. EXPL. If all the air has been purged from a master cylinder brake system, the brake pedal will feel firm rather than spongy. Okay. Next. Question 50 of 82. When servicing an empty shock strut with fluid, the strut should be completely compressed and extended several times to ensure. Not selected. Proper packing ring seating and removal of air bubbles. Re- selected. EXP. When a shock strut has been filled with fluid, it should be extended and compressed at least twice to be sure that all the packing rings are properly seated and all the air is worked out of the fluid. Reference. AMT. Okay. Next. Question 51 of 82. The metering pins in oleo shock struts serve to... Not selected. Meter the proper amount of air in the struts. Selected. Not selected. Retard the flow of oil as the struts are compressed. Selected. EXP. The metering pin in an oleo shock strut retards the flow of oil as the strut is compressed. This retarded flow causes a more even absorption of shock. Okay. Next. Question 52 of 82. If the extended longitudinal axis of the main landing gear wheel assemblies intersects aft of the aircraft, the wheels can be termed as having Not selected, toe out Selected, EXPF If lines drawn through the center of each of the wheels of an aircraft landing gear cross behind the wheels, the landing gear has toe out. The OK button. Tap to active. If lines drawn through the center of each of the wheels of an aircraft landing gear cross behind the wheels, the landing gear has toe out. The landing gear will tend to spread out as the aircraft rolls forward. OK. Next. Question 53 of 82. If it is determined that spongy brake action is not caused by air in the brake system, what is the next most likely cause? Not selected. Deteriorated flexible hoses. Selected. EXPL. Spongy brake action not caused by air in the system may be caused by deteriorated flexible hoses. The hose may expand as the pressure is built up. Okay. Next. Question 54 of 82. A high-speed aircraft tire with a sound cord body and bead may be recapped. Not selected. An indefinite number of times. Selected. EXPL. 
Quoting from AC 43.131A, Section 332, B, 1 dealing with retreading types B and 7 high-speed tires, the wide variations in tire operating environments which may affect total carcass life and serviceability make it inadvisable to prescribe arbitrarily the maximum number of times a high-speed tire should be retreaded. This aspect, therefore, is controlled by a thorough inspection of the carcass before retreading. Okay. Next. Question 55 of 82. The primary purpose for balancing aircraft wheel assemblies is to not selected, prevent heavy spots.